Hi everyone, welcome back to B17, the Mighty Eighth. Here we are with the crew of Billy Boy. We have completed five missions. We are no longer considered a rookie crew, which is fantastic. That's really a boost to the, the guys. Um, and as you can see, uh, five missions complete. 22 enemy aircraft downed. Incredible numbers, incredible numbers. Thanks to, we've got two aces in our aircraft. We've got Staff Sergeant Free on the tail gunner, who I think has 11 kills now, and top turret Bujin, who has 5. So yes, um, two aces on board, which is fantastic. So where are we going for mission number 6, I hear you ask? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's head into the briefing room. It's quite somber music playing today. I hope that's nothing. Uh, there's no... Um, foreshadowing or anything with this. Uh, so the 16th of March 1944. Cologne Marshalling Yard is the primary target. The Sologen Steelworks is secondary and the Rosols oil production is uh, the tertiary target. We'll be carrying 6 times 500 pound general purpose and 12 times 100 pound in centuries. Distance of farthest target is 820 miles. Two squadrons of P-47s as escort. Uh, so we have the Cologne Marshalling Yard here. Flat strength is high. Fighter strength is high. Priority is very high. And damage none. The Sologen Steelworks. Flak is high. Fighter is moderate. Priority is high. Damage none. And the oil production facility at Rajol's. Uh, flak strength is moderate, fighter strength is low, priority is high, damage none. Okay, let's sign up for that and have a look at the reconnaissance film. So we've got a target just off um, camera there. Coming into the primary and you can see the uh, the various buildings. Look. A row of six, well, two rows of six buildings here, and we've got some more um, buildings stacked together down here. Um, okay. Well, uh, for you know, for a mar <laughs> marshalling yard, I'd expect lots of uh, rail tracks and stuff going into the area, but it doesn't seem to be the case. A uh, quick look at the route that we'll be flying, heading straight in down to. Einhoven, and then up and around. I guess we're skirting around some aircraft. Um, but wow, look at this! The actual flak will be flying through. It's going to be quite thick. So that's the Cologne Marshalling. That's the primary target. Crikey! There's got to be a better way of bombing than flying all the way through this flak over Essen. Do you know what? I, I'm wondering if it's if we are going for the primary. There's the, do we 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 bomb uh, west to east and then cut well cut through here somewhere because I don't want to fly through all that flak and potentially these enemy airfields up here will launch some fighters as well. So I'm thinking we rearrange it so we'll cut sort of through here. Decision point probably about here. And we can go to the um, tertiary or the secondary there. Uh, but if we go with the primary, decision point there, then we'll cut down, bomb this way, and then maybe cut through this, this lighter. You see the, the line is thinner here. That means there's lighter flak is expected. So we cut down through here, then rally point and back out. I think it's probably going to be a route that we could potentially survive. This looks just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Start engines. So here she is, the beautiful the Billy Boy. Um, as you see, five yellow Cowl mission sig bombs left. signifying that Open we've completed right. five missions and 22 crosses with the incredible amount of kills that we've uh, racked up in five missions. What we'd like today is a nice, quiet mission. Don't see anybody else. Drop our bombs and get home. Perfect. Will we get that? No, of course we won't. But um, we'll go through the uh, engine warm-up and start up sequences now and uh, we'll get up in the air and start heading towards target. You 
are cleared for takeoff. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're just making it over English coast now. It's 8.23 in the morning, just coming up to 15,000 feet, 150 miles an hour, heading 095. Yes, we've got a couple of aircraft on our flank. Who have we got today? We've got Sea Cup uh, on our port side. She's got one mission complete and one aircraft killed to her name. And over here we have Lucky Ducky out for their first mission so hopefully they'll make it back okay as well um, skies are looking fairly clear so far but we'll head across the uh, North Sea and see what uh, it's like on uh, mainland Europe so uh, yeah so popping into uh, the navigators position um, Let's see what we can do here. So I'm thinking, where's the decision point? There. You lost the awful decision point. Let's get that about there. You come this way. Now, primary. We're going to go straight for it like that. And then turn that way. Sort that out in a minute. And we got this one here. And then we got that one there. On guys, extend them. Ooh, can't quite extend it out of the flat, but what we can do is grab the rally point and make this slightly better for all of them. So, the rally point, if we do it like that, trying to make it so they don't have 90 degree turns because you know that, that never goes well. Bring this one over here, um, and we'll fly through what I hope will be slightly easier terrain okay welcome back everyone we've made the enemy coast um, we're coming up to five to nine so come up to our cruise and bombing altitude of 25,000 as well uh, and we've made landfall on your Europe so uh, it's not so pleasant over here it's quite a few more clouds so that may make bombing a little bit more of a challenge but so far so good all we need to do now is um, keep our eyes peeled and yeah, watch for those fighters whoa god I didn't see them oh they got the rookies Lucky Ducky is smoking. Engine three, four, I think, is uh, burning. Hopefully, they can get that under control. There's the boom of their drop tanks, and they managed to get that fire out. Ooh, steady on, boys. Yeah, their engines just died. They're down to three engines. Well within their right to uh, head for home. We're just coming, there's the coast over there, so well, they'll probably stay in formation while this uh, enemy attack is happening to get the protection of the group. But um, yeah, well within their rights to head home. Ooh. See him. Here he comes. Come on, come on. Going for us. Good hits. All coming in. It's a 
friendly. Some traces going out after them. Four o'clock level. Four o'clock level, yeah. Four o'clock level. Somebody's peeling off. Oh. So friendly. Sort of traces whizzing over my head then. Hello, mate. Friendly. Oh, we got a smoky engine. Oh, they got another one. We've got smoking on there. Incoming. Five, five, oh, he looks alive still. Another one coming in. Oh, look at that! Big Come white on, puff. Oh, he's just blown up! Beautiful. Another kill for uh, Staff Sergeant 3. On his tail. Meantime, the rookies are dropping back. That's trying to hang with us. I see him. Whoa! We've got more coming in. See someone down low. Oh no, I've just got friendly fire. They got a little friend. Oh no. I thought he was on shooting us. Oh no. I'm so sorry my friend. Oh, he's spinning out of control. Oh, good god. Oh my soul destroying. Absolutely soul destroying. Well, at least I managed to glide him down okay. I'm so sorry, my friend. I hope you managed to get back. Zero, six, repeat. One, zero, six. Meanwhile, okay. all hell's breaking loose. I'm making a turn. The rookies are still hanging with us. To feather that engine, really. That's one past us. Okay, um, since we've got through that, the other bombers 
two bombers that were struggling have rejoined us. I don't know if they got clipped or something like that, or they just struggled as we were making some turns. But now we're in the straight line, they seem to be able to keep up with us once again. And we've got another, this is the one that was trailing fuel. Looks like they've run out of fuel in tank four for engine number four. So they need to get that feathered or transfer some fuel across, but probably get it feathered for now. Few damage from the cannons of those 109s, but um, we all seem to be okay. Uh, we're not too far away now from the decision point, so we'll um, make the uh, the call from the weather forecast which target we're going to attack. It doesn't look terrible, we've got some big chunky bits of cloud here, but on the whole it's quite um, patchy, so that's going to be possibly quite good for us. Oh. I just saw the uh, the escorts dive away firing and thought, oh, and pop onto the gun straight away. Oh no, the one that had the engine four, engine three is now being hit with fire. They're, they're done for. Oh, boys. Okay, we're coming up to the decision point now, so the radio operators just had to leave the cheat gun to head back to the the radio room so we can get the weather forecasts aircraft coming in oh I think oh it's the the um, little friend on his tail that has got him leaking fuel Meanwhile, it's all go. Weather at primary target is believed to be oh, no. stormy with nine tenths cloud at approximately six thousand feet. That's a no-go then. Weather at secondary target is believed to be fair with four tenths cloud at approximately six thousand feet. Oh no, they've okay. got the seventeen. Oh no, they've got another bomber. Weather at tertiary target is believed right, to be Right, so secondary fair tertiary with target three are on. At approximately Stormy weather at the primary, you've got no chance. Let's head Let's head to the secondary. And we'll send this guy to go and help um, the whoever's down injured. Who's down injured? Oh, it's the co pilot. lost the two bombers that were down here, so we're a bit empty there. Um, and we feel it. It feels like we're naked, to be honest with you, without that cover. Yeah, the uh, we're taking a bit of a pommelin today. These 109s are doing devastating work. Oh, and here comes the flak all of a sudden. Made me jump. There's the rookie crew. They're still out there. Um, hanging on to our tails as best they can. We can't slow down, of course. Oh, I think we might have got a nick on him that sent him away from the uh, formation, which is great. It's just him left. I, mean, I I must admit my gunnery hasn't been the best today. Oh god, that was close. Having these bursts of flak, and then the aircraft are attacking us. Not too far from the bomb run, so we can't. I seem to be watching the wrong aircraft each time today.
Whoa, here comes the flak again. Where'd the aircraft go? Can't even see it now. Okay, about to start the bomb run. Here he comes. Okay, that's our job. Let's get these bomb bay doors open. Okay, with the bombardier, <coughs> I think that's our target. Thank you, engineer. That's Brugitz. Um, it looks like we're plumb on. Of course, we've leveled this skill up to excellent now, so... Um, yeah, actually, we, changing the angle of attack seems to have done us quite good. So we've got buildings all the way over here, buildings here, and something here. Um, yeah, I think we're probably um, spot on there at the moment. Oh, look at the notes. Been shot to pieces. All right, with bombers around us, this looks like it's going to be a good drop. Give me a few more seconds. Stand by. On the way. Okay, here's the target. The squadron's coming towards us. First bomb should start hitting those cooling towers. Yes. Oh, somebody, the rookie crew who are behind us, look, they're, you can see their bombs dropping in the background on the fields, killing cows, no doubt. But yeah, look at that. Okay, this part of the structure seems to be relatively unharmed, but the big hangar and all this has been destroyed, which is good. Oh, as we make our turn, our rookie friends have rejoined us. They still haven't feathered Engine 4, mind, but... They were able to cut the corner and rejoin us, which is fantastic. Now that they've dropped their bombs, they may be able to be uh, able to keep up with this now they've lost the, the weight of the, uh, the ordnance. So that would be a nice thing if they were able to stay with us. Okay, we're just coming through this light flak field now. Um, it is quite light, but um, what we might do is get heavier. Right, radio operator, let's dive. Let's dive a couple of thousand feet, get under this. This looks nasty all of a sudden. Okay, we're descending out of this. This is thicker than I was um, imagining it. Nasty stuff. Okay. Uh, and we're turning as well, which hopefully will throw the guns off. And yeah, we're slowly getting underneath it. Fire in the waist. Holy moly. Hopefully that's gone. And that's it. A bit of damage all over the aircraft. Hopefully just superficial. We are looking a little bit like a colander now, but um cruising seems to be okay, which is the main thing. Okay, our ball turret gunner has been um 
obviously been hit and he's uh, just had a bit of blood loss and he's just fainted so we've got the Paul Swans the um, or Chance the uh, radio operator to go and check him out what was that boom that wasn't good there's only a singular boom so it wasn't enemy aircraft dropping their drop tanks pilot from navigator okay turn got him patched up Gun patched up fantastic well done boys well okay, done okay now thanks get back to work I'm on it yeah we've got another one going down Paul's on it James Patterson, our waste gunner, has gone down. Again, this is the oh look at this, look at the flax obviously got in here. And he's obviously taken something. And a uh, bit of blood loss. Go on, Paul. Use your medical skill, let's get him patched up. Well then Paul, Paul's actually proving his worth today, his medical skill is coming in and he's, uh, he's doing a good job actually, he's having a good mission. Oh, and we have a number 4 engine which looks like it's out of fuel. Okay, so fuel tank in 1 is 150 gallons, 2 same, 3 same, yeah, four's out of fuel. Okay. Navigator, that's the Dutch coast down there. We're at the Dutch coast though, so um, we'll, uh, we'll feather four for now. We can always try and um, get us started again. See, that's what you need to do. You need to feather it, Lucky Ducky. You still haven't feathered it. How oh, have you? No, you haven't. You still got it. Uh, the blade flat to the uh, to the winds. Feather your engine like that and follow our leads. The good news is the rookie's lucky ducky is still with us. And so is their C cup. You can see the tail down there as our escorts go zipping over. As they said, this is the Dutch coast. We've just got to hop across the North Sea now. And I can actually just about make out the, uh, the green, green grass of home. Um, in terms of old blighty so yeah fingers crossed we can get home without any more dramas oh no the rookie crews the rookie crew are bailing out at least they're over friendly territory oh god no there goes oh god i spoke too soon oh no look they're bailing out over a friend they're bailing out over a friendly territory basically over our friendly base oh guys i could have probably dead stick landed that in Oh, look at that, there she is, the rookie crew crashed to the field just on the outskirts of home base. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. But they bailed out, so hopefully they're going to be all okay. If the crew's okay, we can get another aircraft. It's not the end of the world. Okay, we're going to go for a landing. Gear down. Oh, that's coming down nicely. Go for the inactive runway again. Deploy flaps. Okay. Into coolers to cold, and uh, that seems to have got rid of the overheating problem at the moment. See the scorch mark in the field where Lucky Ducky came down. Hopefully, C Cap will land okay, and she'll be. Uh, she looked okay. I think she was just uh, 
leaving the formation early to um, start her orbit and uh, ready, readying for landing. So all good there. Although that bomber in the background looks like it's coming down. Oh, watch what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that's a bit heavy. Oh, bit of a bounce. It would be one of my landers if it wasn't for a bit of a bounce. So we go we're down. Sorry, I was not watching that that bomber over there. I thought that was streaking to the ground, but it wasn't. It they've seemed to. They were just dropping down. Oh, I thought we were gonna have another loss within uh, sides of the airfield. Right, attracting flaps. Right, I'll switch down. Throttles closed. There we go. I'm switching Danger, down engine one. Idle cut off. He does look low over there, doesn't he? I think that bomb is in trouble. Right, we're going to taxi back to base with just the two inboards. Oh, it's a very glum sounding start to the music. I think we lost a lot of bombers. I think we may have lost a couple more on friendly territory. Oh, we did. Uh, so, mission date, March the 16th, 1944. The Sologen Steelworks was attacked. Distance flown was 817 miles. Bombers lost, three. Enemy fighters shot down, five. The good news is, the target was totally destroyed. So, uh, Lieutenant Spencer had a medium wound, Lieutenant Ledesmaki had a light wound, and Staff Sergeant Smith had a light wound. There's the bomb damage assessment. Totally destroyed, they say. If they're happy, I'm happy. So, uh, medals awarded. Second Lieutenant... Sorry, Lieutenant. We're American, not Lieutenant. Um, Ledesmaki uh, has got the Purple Heart. Uh, missing crews accounted for. Jolly Roger crashed in enemy territory. All aboard, sadly, were lost. Uh, Blood and Guts crashed in enemy territory. Sadly, all aboard were lost. Sad Sack, which is the rookie crew. I know they had a nose art of um, Lucky Ducky. Bailed out over friendly territory. Four active. Three, sadly, were killed. Three uh, wounded. Ah, so Salmi, Cook and French sadly did not um, survive the uh, the bailout. You don't know, they might have been injured on board before the uh, the aircraft came into difficulty, so they could have been either dead on, on the aircraft or, you know, wounded, um, patched up and just sort of sitting there and they couldn't uh, get them to bail out properly. We don't know, we're just speculating there. And here we are, mission number six to the Sologen Steelworks. Bomb uh, damage estimate was totally destroyed. Fighter shot down. Um, Free got another three kills to his name. That takes him up to 15. He's a triple ace. And Brujin got himself a 109 as well. So that's him up to six, I believe. So there we go. Six missions down. And actually... There was a little bit of drama. Everything was happening all at once, so it was a little bit chaotic. But apart from that, uh, we sustained minimum damage. Yes, engine four ran out of fuel, but that's just a hold fuel tank. We can get that patched up, no problems at all. Uh, all the other major systems, apart from the Bombay door mechanism, was uh, fully functional, and we were able to bring Billy Boy home on a relatively straightforward mission there. Relatively straightforward. A few more like that wouldn't be a miss. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get another, yeah, standard mission next time. Nothing too dramatic. We don't need anything too dramatic just yet. So yes, join us back for next time for mission number seven. And see Billy Boy next outing. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.